this shoe is weird, but I like it. Ginger Runner. What is up everybody? Ethan Newberry, the Ginger Runner here with another Ginger Runner review. I'm excited about this one because the shoe is super weird, but I'm kind of liking it right now. From New Balance, the Fuel Cell Rebel. All right. It's a fast, lightweight, cushioned, accommodating neutral kick from New Balance with a six millimeter drop that feels more like a zero millimeter drop with a crazy dramatic foot shape. The hell is that? It looks as though in the midsole of the shoe sort of melted pulling it out of the box, but features a super soft and stretchy mesh upper that's very accommodating and quite comfortable. I will say that it does look a mix of therapeutic device and uniform casual. Let's be honest, it's a silly looking shoe, but I like it. It's weird, but I like weird. So this new shoe from New Balance, designed to go fast to propel you forward with extra pop, cushion, stretch, and comfy goodness, has a lot of things that I like about it, has a couple things I dislike. As with all of my reviews, we talk about both of those, starting as always with things that I like. The fuel cell. You know that the midsole is called fuel cell because they just, they labeled it right there on the side. It's super, cushion and comfortable. The foam was actually pretty awesome. Now, based on all of New Balance's marketing materials, I just anticipated it was gonna be a race only shoe or a speed workout only shoe. What I found is that the midsole cushioning worked in a lot of scenarios. I ran some longer days in it, shorter days, those speed days definitely excelled in the shoe, but that fuel cell midsole was surprisingly soft, cushioned, and comfortable, even for someone at my size. It also has some of that dual density action where just underneath the forefoot, it's a bit more dense material, but it does provide you with a bit of pop, nice responsive, get cushioned, good balance. I liked it. The booty. This shoe has a booty. Upper. Now the upper is all one piece, super stretchy mesh material. Most uppers that I've used that have this sort of stretchy mesh just becomes super bothersome, really sloppy. The fit is never good. You can never tie the shoe down enough. But one thing that New Balance has incorporated are these hard wire stitches here across the midfoot, which provide plenty of grip across your foot, giving you a really solid feel in the shoe. The medial and lateral stitching in this upper provide plenty of lockdown for your foot right here across the midfoot where it matters most. The shoe won't go anywhere. And that's not always what I feel in shoes that have uppers like this. In this case, it works really comfortable. I'm a fan of it. It also works with a variety of foot shapes. This booty has it going on. And just like that, I hate myself. And finally, a surprise. So this is a weird like, but it's something I wanted to kind of point out. When I pulled the shoe out of the box, I saw a lot of what they did design wise. I saw that weird, sort of lateral flare, the shoe shape itself, the upper design with the stretchy booty. A lot of these things sort of made me go, I don't know if this is all going to come together and work in a shoe, but it surprised me. In fact, all of these things came together to make the shoe surprisingly fun and comfortable and really did give me a lot of enjoyment on those speed days, while also giving me plenty of comfort on the longer run days. That says a lot. It's a nice surprise. New Balance, the Fuel Cell Rebel is pretty damn fun. Thank you. That being said, it's not all licorice ropes and pony rides. There are a couple of things I dislike about the New Balance Fuel Cell Rebel. Let's get to those now. That shape, it's an odd foot shape. The lateral flare definitely emphasizes the shape of the shoe bending more towards the medial side. You don't really feel that when the foot is in the shoe. It's not like the shoe dramatically bends that way, but the shoe does lack some of that medial side comfort and stability. So if you are a runner who finds yourself running fairly flat footed, you're gonna feel that lack of stability. I can tell that the shape of the shoe is certainly designed for those who like to strike on the lateral side of the heel, the lateral side of their midfoot or forefoot and roll into their forefoot and toe off that way. That tends to be how I run or foot strike. So the shoe definitely worked for me. If you aren't a forefoot striker, midfoot striker or strike towards that lateral side, you'll probably feel this shoe is a bit imbalanced. So just giving you a heads up now that the shape does influence its comfort for some people's foot. Feet. Feet? The booty. Don't get me wrong. I do love a good booty. This review is going to get flagged. But the problem with a one piece upper like this is that it won't work for all foot shapes. In my case, I was able to get plenty of lockdown across the midfoot at the detriment of the material itself. I got plenty of overlapping and rolling of that upper material right through the laces. Didn't cause any super uncomfortable chafing or hot spots, but it's going to be something you're going to notice if the shoe needs to be locked down extra tight. And with the upper stretching over time, the more miles I put in the shoe, the more that the shoe sort of opened up, you're going to be tying those laces down more, causing more folds, more overlays it could be problematic. I like a good soft, comfortable booty, but this one is on the verge of becoming a problem. Good for now, maybe not forever. Also be aware with the booty that the heel lockdown has a very small heel counter. So you're really gonna wanna make sure that your heel locks into this shoe 
when you lace it all together so the whole platform works and your ankles not flipping flopping in and out and finally durability uh the shoes holding up okay for now I have just under 100 miles in it but long-term use long-term wear i'm noticing a bit of that fuel cell midsole breaking down nowhere close to the midsole breakdown that i've seen in ultra shoes in the past but certainly something to be aware of lost a little bit of its pop but there's still plenty of life and the upper uh, as i mentioned the upper does stretch the more you wear it so you are going to have to lace it down a little bit tighter i just worry about over time this super stretchy upper stretching to the point where it can't stretch anymore then it just becomes bothersome you're gonna have to go buy another pair stretchy equals comfortable stretchy doesn't equal durable that is actually it for my dislikes uh surprisingly happy with this shoe pulled it out of the box was gone i don't know tried it on ran in it whole bunch and i'm actually like liking it so in conclusion the new balance fuel cell rebel is a super fun super fast lightweight about 8.1 ounces in my size size 11 weird looking shoe from new balance that uh once you get over those looks can be surprisingly fun work for race days fast training days long runs but let's get a little bit more specific talking about build quality it's odd it's strange the build takes some getting used to but it works and they've thought through a lot of those details comfort yeah, uh, it's surprisingly comfortable. And like I mentioned, it works well for fast paced training runs or slow plots. I'm not gonna be running a marathon anytime in this shoe, but certainly the shorter distances where you just wanna go fast, high cadence, high turnover, the shoe works great. Fun rocker shape, plenty of outsole grip for those rainier wet surface days. Yeah, comfort's fantastic. Fit, not gonna be for everyone, but will work for a lot of people. This accommodating midfoot toe box area with that stretchy upper is fantastic for those who like to get their toes display a little bit. Plenty of airflow and breathing ability in this upper as well which is great and the stitching across the midfoot really helps with the lace lockdown so overall i had plenty of good fit days in this price at 129 dollars it's at that higher end of things for a shoe that i would definitely qualify as a race day or fast training shoe but something of note is that the fuel cell rebel does take some high tech elements of some of new balance's more expensive shoes and input from some of their fastest racers and put that technology into this shoe it's nice to see that it is a bit of a higher price point for those of you who are looking for something that maybe you want to kind of throw into your rotation and finally looks it's a weird looking shoe. I find myself looking down at these shoes thinking that my feet are off. You kind of constantly have to keep telling yourself it's the shoe. It's that lateral wing. It's not your foot. Your foot's fine. Didn't break anything. Once you get over that and once you get over the fact that this color version um, is not the best, you'll be just fine. And that brings us to our last criteria. Is the New Balance Fuel Cell Rebel a buy, try, or a why? I'm giving this a solid try. If not, buy if you get a chance to try it and really like it. Definitely put your foot in this shoe. If you're looking for something to go fast, train hard, working on your shorter, faster distances, and that high cadence, high turnover, this shoe's really great for it and surprisingly fun. And that my friends, is it for my review of the New Balance Fuel Cell Rebel. If you have this shoe at home or if you've used it or tried any of their fuel cell line, let me know in the comments below what you think. Let's get that dialogue started. If you want to find out more information about this shoe or get a pair for yourself, there are links to Running Warehouse in the description. They're affiliate links, so it helps the channel out. It helps you out. Cost you nothing. And if you're a Patreon supporter, there's discount codes. I look into it. But that's it for the review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe to this channel, youtube.com slash the ginger runner. I have social media. <laughs> if you haven't already, follow across social media. We're doing some announcements in the coming weeks about GRGR, this year's global run, new t-shirt designs, all sorts of fun stuff that you're not going to want to miss. And right there at patreon.com slash the ginger runner, if you join up for as little as a dollar a month, you get cool perks on the back end, access to post shows, after shows, hidden content, music, all sorts of fun things that uh, it also helps the channel. That's kind of the big thing because it helps everything that we do here. That's it. All right, my friends, uh, get out there, train hard, race harder and part of the hardest. I know I am. We'll see you guys next week for some more fun. All right. Bye bye.